YouTube, that's my 486 Unisys computer. It's not a mainframe, unfortunately. But anyways, um, I guess uh, I'm going to make this video. So I've been procrastinating this a little bit because I'm actually, well, I'm not very knowledgeable with this era of computers, but I traded my Macintosh SE for one of these, which um, I'm not quite sure if it was a good or bad deal, but I didn't really, I didn't have a keyboard or mouse for the SE, so I, I never really used that. And eBay prices for keyboard mouse is actually, it's not really worth it. So I had to install 95 on the system. And I actually, embarrassingly enough, don't own any floppy drives in this apartment, I mean floppy disks in this apartment. So there's no CD drive and I tried to use the, I tried to, you know, IDE's dual channel, right? There's like a master and slave thing. So I couldn't, um, well, for some reason it didn't work on that. So maybe I just had it configured wrong. So in my mind, the quickest solution was to manually copy over all the files on using my Pentium MMX setup and copy the files from a USB flash drive through the MMX, which is now running Windows XP FLP for legacy systems. So I copied it to the flash drive and I copied the contents of the installation for the flash drive to the well, to the hard drive on this computer. And I copied a few games, and now it is running 95. So I, I guess that's um, my video. Um, oh yeah, one thing to mention. If you're planning on getting a Unisys 486 for whatever reason, by planning to get one, I mean you probably find one at a thrift store or something, you know? But they, uh, it has a Novatel um, compatible NE2000 uh, Ethernet card integrated onto the board and uh, only has one ISIS slot. But basically, with the integrated Ethernet, it's recognized out of the box with Windows 95, but you actually need an Anatel driver. I think it's the UK2200. I'll just post it in the description and put a little caption after I edit this, but it gave me an error message on my setup uh, when I first booted it, so maybe, um, maybe I was just doing something wrong, but I did, it, start, it appears to work now that I uh, have that other driver installed on Windows 95, and if you're wondering, the chip is also socketed, so you can't actually upgrade the chip. So this one only has a 66 megahertz processor. And I don't think there's a jumper to control the voltage, but I didn't really look too far into that. I just checked a couple forum posts. But either way, it's like a little nifty 486 computer. So yeah, I mean, seriously, like this thing's kind of small. I mean, I would pick it up, but like I'm afraid to damage the hard drive. I don't know, like, I get paranoid with hard drives that are, like, 1995. <laughs> Actually, this one has a 30 gigabyte drive in from the late 90s, I think. I think late 90s. But either way, it doesn't sound very good.